many cultures throughout the world, men are taught not to cry. It is a sign of weakness. Did Jesus cry? In the letter to the Hebrews, which was read today, it said, In the days when Christ was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death, and he was heard. And leading up to this homily today, I saw a film about the rescue of Ethiopian Jews by present-day Israel. It was a dramatic rescue of 8,000 Ethiopians who had to pass through Sudan, a Muslim country, where they were obliged to spend time in camps before continuing their journey to Jerusalem and Israel. And there was a touching scene of a mother who was Christian, but who forced her young son to join the Ethiopian Jews to find a better life and a future. He was reluctant to leave his mother, but she forced him, sternly telling him to go, eat, become, none of which would be provided for in the camp. The mother's heart was broken as he left her side. Today, the hearts of mothers everywhere across this earth continue to be broken. Mothers in migrant camps, seeing their babies waste away because without food, the mother, there is no milk to give her child. Mothers that are separated at migration controls, children wrenched from den and sent away to places unknown by their mothers. Mothers whose sons and daughters have fallen victim to drugs. Mothers who grieve when told that their child has inoperable cancer. Mary, the mother of Jesus, was one of those mothers. She no doubt cried when Simeon prophesied the passion and death of her newborn son. Mary cried when her child was lost for three days in the temple. Her tears of sadness turned to tears of joy. But she cried again when she saw her son carrying his cross. And she would cry at the foot of the cross when her son breathed his last. And she cried when his body was taken down again and to be buried. In her loneliness, she experienced extreme grievous sorrow at her son's gruesome death. St. John alone, among the Gospel writers, told us of Jesus' final words to his beloved friend John and to his mother as they stood beneath the cross. To John he said, take care of her. And he entrusted Mary to John. To his mother he said, take care of John. Mary was entrusted by her son to care for all mothers and yes, fathers, whose eyes filled with tears for sons and daughters in need. And Mary can wipe away the tears for all whose hearts are broken and cry uncontrollably. And when Jesus entrusted his mother to John, he was entrusting her to all of us to be for us what he himself was, compassionate and in solidarity, and to stand with us as she stood at the foot of the cross. Mary is alive. Venerable Father Patrick Payton echoed this belief throughout his life. And we, like him, as members of the Congregation of Holy Cross, hold firmly to this belief. In our rule of life, we affirm, there stood by the cross of Jesus his mother Mary, who knew grief and was a lady of sorrows. She is our special patroness, a woman who bore much, who could not understand, but who stood fast and to her many sons and daughters whose devotion ought to bring them off into her side, she tells much of this daily cross and its daily hope. To all mothers and yes fathers, to all young and old who find life burdensome, go to Mary, our Lady of Sorrows. She can tell you much about our daily crosses, but also about our daily hope. God bless all families today, and God bless the Congregation of Holy Cross.